didn't see you there. Today we will be discussing one of the greatest works of the 20th century. Willem de Kooning's Woman series was a distinct set of six paintings that exemplified both his life and his style. Inspired to begin his study of the female form after meeting the woman who would later become his wife, de Kooning drew inspiration from his paintings everywhere from Paleolithic fertility figures to pinup girls. Oh, you again? De Kooning was born in the Netherlands in 1904 and came to New York as a 22-year-old stowaway. He began his artistic endeavors painting houses and later attended the Rotterdam Academy for Commercial Art. He completed a number of preliminary sketches and studies before he started working with oil paints on the canvas. Even then, he scraped and repainted the canvas hundreds of times. This technique is apparent in the final products, as each appear almost unfinished. The dynamic movement mixed with a frantic paint application appears incomplete, as if the painting's forms still have yet to settle into place. De Kooning's portrayal of the female form differed greatly from other art of the time. He once said, Beauty becomes petulant to me. I like the grotesque. It's more joyous. De Kooning's depiction of the woman received mixed reviews, with the MoMA committee complimenting its vitality and quality of color, but calling it extremely frightening. Some even called de Kooning misogynistic. Around the time of its creation, GIs were returning from war and women were idolized on the silver screen. De Kooning was surrounded with the hypersexualization of the female form on a scale that had never been seen before. His woman series was really a comment on this eroticization. The figures fill the space of the canvas with inflated limbs and wide open mouths. De Kooning turned sought after female bodies into garish versions of themselves. He once summarized female representations in art as the idol, the Venus, and the nude. And he references all of those in Woman 1, while also addressing the reverence for and fear of the feminine form. Even though we now associate de Kooning with the abstract expressionist movement, the forms he painted weren't fully abstracted. He believed that abstract art should not have to be non-representational, which drew criticism from his peers. Every so often, a painter has to destroy a painting. Cezanne did it, Picasso did it with cubism, then Pollock did it. He busted our idea of a picture all to hell. Woman 1 nevertheless earned a place in art history because of de Kooning's willingness to try something new. As de Kooning once said, I'm not interested in abstracting or taking things out or reducing paintings to design, form, line, and color. I paint this way because I can keep putting more things in it. Drama, anger, pain, love, a figure, a horse, my ideas about space. Through your eyes, it again becomes an emotion or idea.